Scientists have been studying at the Rocky Mountain Biological Lab here in Gothic since 1928. Technology has come a long way since then, and that's allowing one researcher to look at the link between evolution and ecology and also some pretty cute birds. Their language is quick. Chirps matching the speed of their wings. I, I have jitter leg, I can't sit still. I, uh, and Nicholas Alexander caffeinates to keep up. I come up here with my iced latte every day. It's usually my second one too. <laughs> it helps him speak their language as the birds and him work through the rain. We talk to them all the time. Um, say, hey, how are you doing? Um, are you thirsty? Do you want a drink? But his translations can be complicated. Um, something I like to talk about is called pleiotropy. That's something called standing variation. There is likely niche partitioning. Nicholas speaks science. They're so cute, yeah. Sometimes. His official title is geneticist. This is another juvenile female. This little dude is from, coming back from Alaska, so it's one of the longest migrations of any bird for its size. He looks at the variation of bill size in hummingbirds at the Rocky Mountain Biological Lab in Gothic. Currently, I am photographing the bill. He's found even birds within the same species have all different shapes and sizes. Um, I put that in a tube for sequencing later. Nicholas wants to know what genes explain the differences. Making generalizations about species uh, it ignores a lot of the really complex dynamics that are happening within that species. His unofficial title is a little more <laughs> relatable. We are called the Humming Nerds, and we have t-shirts, so if you want one, email me. A title earned after sequencing 500 hummingbird genomes, with some help from David Inouye, another hummingbird expert at the lab. Hummingbirds actually have one of the highest rates of evolution of any bird species. That's the serious science stuff. Yeah, this is our my 49th year coming out here. And at this shack, the silly, it's never far behind. 48. Just kidding. Um, this is my seventh year out here. The research here goes beyond birds and will answer unknown questions about evolution in the wild. Oh yeah, it's always so much fun. But getting to hold these tiny creatures. Right into the bushes. And becoming <laughs> more like them. I got a broad-tailed hummingbird. Um, and an and a Indian paintbrush. It makes the science tangible. Yeah, and they're cute. A translation anyone can understand. Nicholas heads back to his lab at UC Berkeley in a week, but as long as the road is open, you can take a drive up here. And if you're up for it in the winter, you can snowshoe here. We did it this year, and the views were breathtaking. On another night adventure with photojournalist Ann Herbst, I'm Katie Eastman.